hello everybody this is not a crypto expert chiming in with another video and in this video I am going to update the firmware on my Ledger Nano S to the latest and greatest version that's available via the Ledger Live software that came out a few weeks ago um, I've already got the software installed obviously on my on my system I've also got the my, my device configured uh, with the pin number I've got my recovery phase already saved in a, in a few different uh, places I do not have any apps installed on the device at this moment uh, that will be next but like I said I just wanted to do this video just to uh, show how to do a firmware update on the device so I'm gonna switch over to my ledger live software now and this is how the interface looks right when you open it up uh, nothing there as of right now let's just um, click on the manager and it's gonna tell me to unlock my device which I am doing right now and now it's prompting me to allow the ledger manager to connect to my device which I'm selecting now Alright, so at this point I see that there is a new firmware version available. I'm on version 1.4.1 and they have version 1.4.2. So I'm going to go ahead and click the update button. And I am being prompted, just give me a read through right quick. Uh, just telling me that I'm installing version 1.4.2. Um, anything that's on there right now will have to be reinstalled however it's not going to affect anything that's on the blockchain um, let's see they've got a step-by-step -step guide okay let's see user pin uh, code starts number is now always randomized so I guess it makes it even more difficult for someone to try to try to figure out your passwords or to make it harder for if someone is I guess looking over your shoulder um, to see what it is that you're doing or to force the end user to actually cycle through numbers and passwords to uh, make sure that they get something that's secure uh, each recovery words first letters now also randomized um, so more security uh, improvement of the interaction between the microcontroller and secure elements to remove confusing error messages uh, verification and checks of installed applications improved dashboard responsiveness alright so we're gonna go ahead and press continue you verify that the identifier on your device is the same identifier below press the right button to confirm now it's on my device it's saying processing right now and I've got the update firmware button even though I did not see the identifier that did not flash in my screen I'm gonna take a screenshot of that and then press the button to update the firmware it's asking me for a pin code right now so I'm typing in my pin alright so now firmware updating And on my screen right now, there is a uh, an icon. There's a circle with an arrow that's pointing down. Now it's saying processing. And we will see how long this process takes. All right, I've got the uh, ledger prompt, and now I'm being prompted for pin code. It actually <laughs> changed the. Uh, I see the first change that it's already made. Alright, I'm going to close that and we are now done. 